Hello guys and welcome back to the Thermal Mods series. In this video we'll take a look at the Phytogenic Insulator. And this is a machine that will do some farming for you, you can say. So we'll take a look in the GUI here. It looks like, like a mess here, but it's actually very very simple as most of these machines are. So this machine will turn for example seeds um, into wheat and maybe seeds and only the only thing you need is water simulated sunlight and you'll get that from RF and some fertilizer like this phytogrow seed simulated sunlight water and this will give you something so let's take a look here when it jumps out Got two wheat and one seed. So if we take a look here in the insulator's recipe, depending on what fertilizer you're using, the output is, is increased. Depending on what fertilizer you're, you are using, you will get more output, simple as that. Just check your recipes. And 100% means that it's guaranteed. As you can see, we got one and uh, then there's a 10% chance of getting one additional. All right. And the fertilizer has actually been covered before. If we rush back over here to the sawmill, we actually made normal phytogrow from sawdust, slag and niter. And then you can refine these. Let's see if we can um, with sap into the phytogrow, you get rich phytogrow. And then in the energetic infuser, you can empower it to fluxed phytogrow. So here is how you use it. And of course, if we take our seed back, place it in here, and then we're using the fluxed one, we'll get much more output. So there are plenty of recipes. Um, in a bigger mod pack, of course, you will have much more. All of these will give you, like, like beetroots, will give you the beet, of course, and maybe seeds, just like the normal seeds from wheat. Potatoes will give you, where is it here? Potatoes and maybe some poisonous potato. You can see the percentage here. So just check your recipes, how it works, flowers, cacti, uh, mushrooms, you name it. Okay, so let's throw some fire grow in here and start. Okay, very simple. So now we can move on with the augments, because there are a few of them. Uh, some of you have seen before, for example, the reception coils, if you do like this. Now let's upgrade this and like so. Much faster, more power, but more speed. All right. The output is the same, of course. Uh, it's only the speed from, from these tiers. So let's talk about the sapling infuser instead. Because the recipes here contains most of the, of, of the flowers and uh, and things you can grow in this pack. But trees, they require that you augment it with the sapling infuser. Then you can also grow trees. Otherwise, it works exactly the same. Higher tiers give more output and, uh, and you still need fertilizer. So nothing, nothing re really weird, but uh, remember that everything, if I turn this on, Everything will be output, so you need to perhaps need to loop some saplings back if you want to continue this, uh, this production. Or there's another chance uh, or a possibility. We'll take a look at that a little bit later. The next augment is called the nullification chamber. You have seen it before. Um, it will void the excess secondary output. So only for those that has a secondary output seeds is a normal thing or a common thing and this chorus flower and and not so many more in this pack but perhaps you don't want the poisonous potato 
instead you just want the normal potato then you can augment with this and the excess will be removed. And by the way, I think I forgot to mention, as you can see, there's a button here. Uh, it's called the fertilizer slot lock button. It can be unlocked or locked, and it is the left one that you can lock. So if you have it locked, you can place the fertilizer here, but not there, right? And you can place a potato here and so on. If you don't lock it, you can place them the other way around. But you can also, perhaps by mistake, overfeed the uh, insulator to have... So it ends up like this. And this is perhaps not very good because nothing will happen. You really need it to be in this, in this setup. So most of the time you will have it locked to avoid something like that. But there might be special occasions where your input, because you can set it, uh, let's see, like the purple here, uh, and the green is here, and so on. So you can set it to different depending on what you want to do and where it comes from. But normally, lock this because you can avoid some issues with that. Another fun detail is actually that you don't really need to have the water input into any of these slots. As you can see, water will enter either, even if I don't have any input on this side. So just face any side of the machine, I think even the front will work. Let's try it. Yeah, works fine as well. So let's move on with the augments. And the next one is called auxiliary receive. You have also seen this before in this series, and what it does is that it will increase the chance of a secondary output. Again, this will only apply to the ones that do have a secondary output, seeds, most common one in this pack. More of the output, less of the or less of the secondary, more of the secondary. Okay, let's move on to the nutrition recovery augment. This is a bit different and it can be very valuable, especially when you're using the flexed Phytogrow, because this one is of course hard or, uh, or it can be expensive to craft. Um, so you don't want to use it up. Uh, normally it's one fertilizer per process. But with this augment, you can stack it up to four and um, it gives you a chance to not consume the fertilizer. Uh, this is 20% chance each, I think. So this one will give you an 80% chance to not use the uh, this fluxed fight to grow. And well, if we were to put in a stack of potatoes here, well, could done it here as well, of course. And on the second try, we didn't use it up. So, okay. Good stuff. Let's do the final augment and because this is, um, as I mentioned, you might need to feed the, the saplings or the seeds or whatever you're doing back into the machine so you can do, repeat the process, right? Because it's perhaps not very common that you only do it once and then or do it manually. So some automation is good. This might help you. It's called the monoculture cycle. And this one will, well, I need to read my sheet notes here. It will increase the energy by 50% and then it will reduce the secondary output with 100%, but then, then in return, it will not use up the dark oak sapling in this case. So this means that Normally you have, take a look here, with a normal fight to grow, you have a 100% chance to get a, uh, a sapling as an output. But with this augment, you will get no output, but you're reusing the sapling. So it's like it was fed back automatically. But reducing by 100% means that if you have a 150% chance, like we have if you're using flexed fight to grow, then 
we will reduce it by 100 and that means that you have a 50-50 chance of getting a secondary output. So let's try it. Oh, I have some there. And we only need one sapling here. We don't need to feed anything except for the fertilizer. In this case, I combine it with the sapling infuser and then I put two nutrition recoveries. So the monoculture mono <laughs> monoculture cycle augment has a 10% chance of uh, not using up the, the, the fertilizer. And with these two, I will add that up to 50% chance. So we have 50% chance of not using up the, the fertilizer and we have 50% chance of getting an output over here. But remember that the energy increase has in, for per operation has increased quite a bit. See, we're not using it. Perfect. No secondary output though. Okay, I hope that pretty much explains everything there is to know about the phytogenic insulator. If you have any questions or comments, you know where to leave them. Alright, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.